Hey, Dan Murray here. I'm back once again to talk to you about the future of work. And we're talking about social media. So this is the second video in a series of videos. So please look out for the other videos that talk about how we should work going forward. We worked a certain way before the pandemic and that changed radically during the pandemic. A lot of people have adapted to what they used to do to a new way of doing things. But some people are as the pandemic ends, going back the way it used to be. And some people were so stuck in what they've been doing the last couple of years, they don't want to change it. And I think both people are wrong. I think you want to chart a new path forward. We take the best of what worked before the pandemic and the best of what worked during the pandemic when it comes to marketing, growing, organizing, launching, scaling, you know, your business. Do you want to get all those things that work both online and are very digital driven and the things that work in the old fashioned way. And this is the future of work. This is what we talk about, right? And this is what we're going to talk about today when it comes to social media. I'm going to share with you the Sonic VA way. The Sonic VA way is basically how we manage social media and social media is broken down into four parts. And I want to make sure I emphasize manage versus marketing. Sonic VAs are well gifted in managing your social media. If you want someone to market you on social media, it can be the same person, but it may be a different type of VA. So depending on what your requirements are as a business owner, I may recommend that you hire someone who can do both or hire someone that can do one or the other. And to recap real quick, in the previous video, video went into this in depth, but real, real quick. Social media marketing is the content creation, is understanding the clients, the audience, understanding what you want to do as far as your messaging, understanding how to create content that will speak to a certain group of people. Social media management is where you manage the content, where it's a piece of a process that allows you to make sure that you're consistently sharing content, building engagement around that content and doing follow up on that content. So this is really where we come up with a Sonic VA way when it comes to social media. We take the best and most important aspects of social media marketing, combine it with social media management and offer you this solution. So I break down social media and we'll call it management, but inclusive of marketing into four parts, right? And phase, phase one, part number one is really about the content creation. So you need to know what you should create, who you're creating it for should dictate what you're going to create, what platform, what's the demographics of your target market, where do they live geographically, how, what are their patterns and habits and things they do online. You want to kind of understand all that as you design marketing materials and the marketing materials you're designing for social media are predominantly either posts or stories or reels or long form videos. And whatever you're doing there, you want to make sure that that's what your audience will consume. You want to understand that. And once you understand what your audience will consume, you start creating content. Now you can create content yourself as a business owner and you have your VA edit it, prepare it, package it, or you can hire a VA to create content for you. Now, if you're creating a lot of posts, which are traditional things where they're either a blog post or they're a post on Instagram or they're posts on Facebook, Text matters, right? So someone who can do a good copywriting, someone who can write engaging content and captions is really the number, most important thing, right? You want to build that and you want to mirror that with someone who can create interesting graphics, cool thumbnails, things that are engaging. And this allows people to like, like something, understand it, click on it, share it, whatever, right? They follow your call to action. You also want to create stories, which are more of like in the moment, short, you know, videos and clips and, and carousels of, of information tacked together, like, you know, five tips of the day and you have five slides, whatever you're doing on stories, they're more like informational for right in and out. They're not necessarily like forever. Posts should be evergreen. Posts stick around. They stay on your Facebook page. They stay on your Instagram page, uh, their blog posts, their things that stick. Stories are short term, right? Things you want about right now, information about what I'm doing right now or today. Not that I do every day and have done and will do for a long time. That's the difference between stories and posts. And of course, reels are just all video and reels are short form videos, 30 seconds or less. Then you have long form videos like YouTube. So you want to understand what is best for your market. Now for one of my companies, Mastermind PH and Mastermind PH is geared towards bringing together uh, business owners and employees in a way that they mastermind together so that they're collaborative. Um, it's all about finding the right technologies to allow people to work together, even if they're not physically in the same location. 
These things really are all geared towards what I need to do to get started. And then once I get started, how do I stay going? So we create a lot of posts that talk about who we are and what we do that are evergreen that stick around a long time. So it's really important that we have good images and good captions. We have good content that's evergreen. In Mastermind PH, we also do some short form stuff. We do some reels and some videos and so forth, but they're really more geared towards educating people about how they can benefit from being part of what we do at Mastermind PH. That's an example, right? So content creation, the first part of social media management, is all about getting that content down. Once you have that content, part two, phase two, is to post it, but not just throw it out there. Be strategic, and this is where the management part starts coming in. When is the optimal time to post? What do you do when people like, share, or comment on a post? Are you tracking that? Are you understanding that? Do you have a sense of what's working and what's not working? This is where it becomes more business management versus creative, right? This is what separates a lot of the great creative VAs from a lot of the great project VAs. And why it's important that as a business owner, you understand what you need. Because if you get the wrong person, if you hire a creative to do the management and they're not good at it, it's not gonna work out. And vice versa, if you hire a management person to do the creative, it's not gonna work out. Unless you find somebody you can do both equally well, which they are out there, but they're not everyone. So the content creation moves into the posting. The posting has to be strategic. You have to have a plan. You have to have a calendar of what you're gonna post when. You start thinking about how to devise columns or pillars of content. So every Monday you drop something that's similar and every Tuesday and every Wednesday and every Thursday you're following a pattern. So maybe every Friday you have a meme or some kind of funny thing. Every Wednesday you do a, a, something about who you are as a person. Every Thursday it's like a throwback about how you got to where you're at. Whatever it is in your business, you start trying to build structure. And then you be consistent in your posting. This is the most important part of social media is that you have to be consistent. No matter how cool your stuff is and no matter how well you, you, you try to be engaging, if you're not consistent, people will forget about you. They won't look for you. They'll not, they won't remember that every Monday you're dropping a new tip of the day. They won't remember that every Tuesday and Thursday you drop a new YouTube video. You need to do that, especially because we live in a world with increasing amounts of online content and people can spend their time doing whatever they want, wherever they want, with whoever they want. You wanna make sure that they want to spend time with you and your content, and you do that by making it consistent. You follow a calendar. This is really the second part of social media, right? It's making sure that you have um, that plan, the strategic posting. The third part is really the engagement. So after you post, what happens? If someone likes, shares, or comments, how do you reply? Do you do it? Does your VA do it? Does the VA have a script of what to follow? Do they have an FAQ of what kind of things they can answer that are typical questions? The goal of this is to free a business owner up from having to manage most of their social media conversations. That only you should be getting in front of people that you can close or that you can really help. And most of the people that ask simple questions, repetitive questions, most of the simple things like someone liked it or, or gave you an, a comment like awesome or a smiley face, those can be done by a VA. And when you engage, you want to do this process. This is what we teach all of our VAs and it works when it comes to social media engagement. It's called the 333 method. And what it is over three days, we, three, we do three different types of engagement to see if we can get that person to join our group, to buy our product, to follow our webinar, to, to look at our coaching series, to sign up for our YouTube channel, whatever it may be, we spend three days on it. And if we don't get the engagement we're looking for after three days, we put that person aside. Maybe we'll come back to them. That's what we'll get to in phase four, which is really the follow-up. But in phase three, it's all about trying to do immediate engagement. And so the first thing we do is we compliment somebody, right? So if someone likes one of your Facebook posts, then you or your VA should go look to their page and like one of their Facebook posts. And not just like it, but comment and say something like, you know, I love what you do. It's amazing. Your channel is great. Your, your YouTube um, videos are amazing. Uh, the content you put in your Facebook is, is really inspiring. Something simple, but a compliment on their stuff. You can also comment on what they wrote on your stuff, but you want to go and, and go to their stuff, right? No one does this, right? People constantly like things and comment on things and drop emojis and do something like that. And we almost never go back to their page and, and reciprocate it, right? It's just not in our, our normal way we go through our newsfeed. Our, our newsfeed, we like things we like. And then we keep going down. We don't stop after we see one cool comment or a like or a heart or something and then go and thank them for it. 
And we especially, if we do thank them for it in our comments, very few people are actually going to their page and doing something there that reciprocates. This is a big opportunity that most people just don't even think of. So this is where you have a VA start doing the compliment. Day one of the 333. Day two is where you take that and you actually do something more detailed. You actually send them a DM as far as like, hey, you know, thanks for posting. I love you inspire me. Um, you can actually do a comment on their page. You can tag them. You can do something a little more interactive. Make sure it's appropriate. Make sure you're not doing something that's going to like drive them away. But on the second day, you do more than just compliment. You do something more accurate. And the third day, you DM them. You DM them with something you want them to do, right? You ask them to join your group. You ask them to check out your YouTube channel. You ask them to sign up for your newsletter, whatever it is. You get that call to action that third day. Now, after that third day, if they haven't bitten, if they haven't said anything, if they haven't replied to anything, then you just kind of file them away as like, I'll come back to them later. But by that third day, if you haven't engaged them, they're probably not going to engage. But if they have, then you've got a hot lead you can work, right? And you've done three things to try to make sure that lead is hot. You validated that they're really interested in doing something with you because they liked your comment that you put on their, their page. They thanked you in the DM. They asked, answered your questions or they even asked questions of their own. Then you know they're engaged. We teach that as part of our social media mastery at Sonic VA. The fourth part and the last part um, is basically the follow-up. And as my mentor Bill Walsh says, the money's in the follow-up. The follow-up has to be basically, hey, we like each other. You've come to me and you've liked my stuff. You've commented on my stuff. We seem to have a lot in common. I think there's something I can do to help you. Um, let's get you enrolled. Let's get you signed up. Let's get you, you know, give you more information. Let's share with some videos with you. Let's give you some context, whatever you need to say, hey, I want to buy something, I want to purchase something, I want to join something, I want to subscribe to something. That's the follow-up. And sometimes you got to follow up multiple times. So when people don't engage in the first three days, then we put them into our follow-up and we follow up in a couple weeks or a couple months. Because at one point, they like our stuff. And if it was just a random like that they're never going to come back and like our stuff again, then we should notate that so we don't keep wasting time on them. But if there's someone who we've had like, you know, hot and cold engagement with, then we follow up every, you know, once a month or whatever. If there's somebody who was really hot and then stopped, you know, we follow up in a couple of weeks. Say, hey, you know, maybe you're busy. Maybe something distracted you. You have a script. You have a plan. So your engagement leads to your follow up. And when you follow up, that's where you make the money, right? Because people really generally don't buy the first time. They have to think about it. They have to shop for it. They have to like have it happen at the right moment. And to be able to hit that right moment in the first engagement is really, really hard. So you have to treat social media management as this process where you have creatives, where you have the posting strategy, where you have an engagement plan, and then you have a follow-up plan. And when you have all this, you have social media mastery. And this is what we teach our VAs to do. This is what I teach clients to be able to look for um, in a VA to help them figure out how do they get the pieces they need in their business. Not every business owner needs every aspect of it, but if you need parts of it or if you need all of it, we can find the VA for you. So that's my talk for today. I know it was a bit long, but thank you for sticking with me. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your ch our channel. I'll be back again with more tips on social media under the future of work. And after we finish social media, I'll see more videos about other aspects of what we should do going forward to take the best of both how we do things in person and how we do things online. So again, look out for the future of work. Check out our Mastermind PH Facebook page if you want to follow more. Um, thanks for your time. Now get out there and have a great day.